Hey, welcome to day eight of the U.S. Open. I'm Mick Rogan here with Pete Bowler for Tennis.com. Pete, another day, another Melanie Dan win. Yeah, no, that was terrific. You know, she's like a, she, there's a snowball effect here for sure. All of New York is falling in love with this girl. I think probably all of America is falling in love with this girl. And I assume from the way she plays that a lot of the world is going to fall in love with this girl. She's just, you know, she's, she's a gutty, determined, gritty player. But she's taken out four Russians, three of them seeds now. And she's lost a first set in, the la in her last three matches, but there's no quit in this girl. You know, we kind of knew that coming in, but then, you know, you look at the way Petrova, Nadia Petrova today, won that first set in a pretty commanding fashion. You're thinking, well, maybe the girls went out of steam. Maybe we've overestimated her, her, her serve because Petrova broke her a lot. But no, Rudan showed again that, you know, what you need to do is find your legs, get calmed down, go on, put up that big win. She did it, you know, and I think it's going to be, she, she's, she's really become the story of this tournament, and the story is an ongoing one. I love the way at the end of the match, she said in her encore interview, she said, and I, I can't believe I'm in my first Grand Slam quarterfinal ever. And you're thinking, well, you know, you're supposed to be 30 years old when you say that, you know. So this shows you, though, what the girl's expectations are and how happy she is to be here. On the men's side, uh, Roger Federer and Robin Soto in both won today. They're going to meet in the Grand Slam for the third straight time in the quarterfinals. Yeah, well, that's going to work to Roger Federer's favor. You know, Soderling advanced today with it, with an easy win when Davidenko had to retire in their match. So he's going to be fresh, no question about it. But, you know, the days of Robin Soderling, the dark prince, you know, the guy who makes fun of Nadal at Wimbledon, the guy who allegedly nobody in the rock, locker room likes, which turns out to be untrue, you know, the fearful guy, this guy's got all kinds of big guns, you know, he can get to the final in Paris on clay, but he's also, but he's really a better player on hard courts. Federer's done a lot to wipe out that impression. He did it at the French Open final by handling, handling Soderling with no problem. He showed it again at Wimbledon. So there's no way that you go in there thinking that, gee, Soderling is the guy who can really give Federer a lot of trouble in here. Of course, anything can happen, but, you know, once again, it looks like Roger Federer is rolling inexorably to a title. That's it for day eight of the Open. I'm Ed McGrogan with Pete Photo. Thanks for watching tennis.com.